Sibling rivalry is nothing new when it comes to shonen character tropes. Sasuke and Itachi, Ace and Luffy, Kagura and Kamui, Goku and Raditz, the list is endless. However, most of these are subplots, some even seem to be afterthoughts to flesh out a lacking narrative. However, for Demon Slayer, the strength and complexity of the sibling bond is showcased from the very first chapter and episode, and will be a mainstay theme until the very last panel. Let's talk about sibling love and rivalry in Demon Slayer. Manga spoilers ahead. Highlighting the bond between Tanjiro and Nezuko has been a central aspect in both the anime and manga, with Tanjiro saving Nezuko being the overarching plot of the series. Although we have more frequent reminders that Nezuko has been instrumental in saving Tanjiro when his head is on the chopping block. For example, regaining consciousness to help Tanjiro take on Rui by unleashing her demon art, or Nezuko in her demon form transformation to save Tanjiro and friends from Demon Moons Daki and Gutoro. And again, dialing up the demon mode to take on Hatengu in the sword Smith village arc. Tanjiro and Nezuko have had more than enough limelight, so let's give centre stage to the other brothers and sisters in the Demon Slayer cast. Let's start right at the top of the power scaling ladder with Michikatsu and Yoriichi Sugikuni, aka Upper Demon Moon 1 Kokushibo and the original Breath of the Sun user. Possibly the most complex relationship in the series, exploring the yin and yang of the sibling bond with contrasting personalities. Michikatsu's unwavering love to protect his little brother in their youth is later overshadowed him being envious of Yorichi's natural talent with the sword, eventually consuming him and leading him to serve Muzan in the path to acquiring strength. The younger brother Yorichi, of more pure intentions, meets his brother in battle, not out of spite, but only to retake Michikatsu from the demon curse and lay him to rest. Unfortunately, this mission is cut short as Yorichi the Sunbro dies on his feet of natural causes, drawing his last breath with tears in his eyes, remembering the best of his big brother. Revenge is a huge motivation for the cast of Demon Slayer, and the sentiment could not be held more tightly between the sisters of the Butterfly Estate, Kanai, Kanao, and Shinobu. Dorma was the driving force and beacon of hate for this trio, and dare I say it, quite the ladies' man. Losing Kanai drove Shinobu on a laser-focused character arc to avenge her sister. Kanao was effectively adopted into both their family and their road to revenge, which satisfyingly drew to a close as she managed to finish Doma, though tragically losing her her remaining big sister in the process. An awesome payoff to put that douchebag in the ground, but a tragic sacrifice to leave Kanao wondering at what cost. Nezuko and Tanjiro, Kokushibo and the Breath of the Sun user, or the sisters of the Butterfly Estate. Who has the tightest family bond? Let me know in the comments below. This will be it for part one, and part two will be on the way shortly. I'll be talking about Genya and Tsunemi the Wind Pillar and their devastating backstory. Also, the tragic past of Muchiro, the Mist Pillar, and his perilous brother, as well as a couple more. Stay tuned. This was Anime Fried Chicken. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe and you'll be telling me, hey, you should make more videos just like this. I have a ton of Demon Slayer and anime discussion videos, so go check them out. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.